Alright class, I hope you guys had a lot of success in trying problems 10 through 18 on your own. This video is just to help you check your work. Um, you could actually check your own work just by foiling, but if you want to see me write it out, I will do that as well. I probably won't do as much talking this video, just because I'm just going to write down all the right answers, but certainly feel free to ask me questions on any of these when you get to class tomorrow. So here's number 10. X minus 3 and X plus 7. Number 11, number 12, 13, we could take out a GCF of 5 first. And then once you take out that GCF, you can factor that trinomial. On to number 14. Very similar situation. You can take out a GCF of 4. And then factor that trinomial. Fifteen, we're going to factor by grouping, so we can take out an x squared plus two. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. You can take out an x. Boy, I am frazzled here. Sorry about this class. I'm looking at my notes, but evidently they're wrong. So let's just do this one without my notes. So we're going to have. You can take out an x squared, and then you're left with x plus 2 in these first two terms. Second two terms, you can take out a positive 6. And once you do that, you're left with x plus 2. All right. So now here's one term, and here's the other term. So as you can see, they both have an x plus 2 term in them. So we're going to take out that x plus 2. And then our second term is going to be another binomial with, with whatever is, is left, which is the x squared and the positive 6. So here is your answer for number 15. Number 16. Number 17, difference of two squares, x minus 1 and x plus 1. And the last one, number 18, and there are all the correct answers for problems 10 through 18. Your assignment, it is a little bit more lengthy. It's six accelerated math objectives, 43 through 48. Um, Excel Math does a very good job about giving you a lot of different variety to practice these. In class, it might seem kind of monotonous at first, but this is very good practice for practical mathematics that you're going to see in chapters 6, 7, 8, and 9, and as well as in your college algebras and your upper level high school algebras as well. So make sure that we practice this. I really want to help you out if you have any questions for me, so please don't hesitate to ask. Um, if you guys need any more practice on some of these Excel math exa examples by factoring, I'd be more than help happy to help you, so please feel free to ask me questions at any time.